Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I really do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. I have a special guest, but welcome to Fit and Fire. And I really do thank you for checking out the channel and uh, clicking on this video. You didn't have to, and it means a lot to me. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel, the best way that you can do that is share this video uh, with your friends on Facebook, wherever, it doesn't really matter, but sharing this video is the best way that you can support the channel. Also, giving me a thumbs up, commenting down below. And if you think I earned it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell as well so you can get notifications of all the new stuff that's coming out in the future. Okay, so I have a friend here with me today. We're gonna have a discussion and the discussion is about uh, new gun owners, basically, uh, but not really with, uh, with my friend here uh, today. You've been around guns for a little bit. A little bit. A little bit, but, uh, uh, but by and large, not too much training, and I wanted to have a little bit of a discussion to talk about what propelled her into this, this area. And then also talk about something that a lot of people don't really get right now, and we'll get that to that here in just a second. But before we get into that, would you mind introducing yourself to the interwebs and tell us who you are? Sure. Hi, interwebs. My name is Jess, <laughs> and um, I am a nursing student, a competitive cyclist, a single mom, and a new gun owner-ish. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And that kind of leads me into uh, kind of a little tangent here uh, she mentioned just missions that she's a competitive cyclist um, you guys know if you've been with the channel my body is starting to break down a little bit and running is becoming more and more difficult so I've gotten into cycling over the last few months and we are training for a race here in a couple of weeks a couple of weeks, couple weeks. oh my god yeah. so she's been training me uh, just getting me ready for cycling and stuff like that so um, please forgive the cicadas it's summer right <laughs> All right, so you've been around guns a little bit, but tell us a little bit about how long have you been around firearms? Has it been all your life or not all your life? Definitely not all my life. Okay. Um, I got my first pistol five or six years ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and you shot it every weekend? Not ever, for like three years. Really? Okay. So you, you bought it and it ended up in a, in a drawer, basically. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right on. What was the what was the reason or what kind of propelled you to purchase a pistol five or six years ago it was personal protection okay um it just was something that to me felt like the next step mm -hmm. you know yep. for, for me just to kind of be prepared and feel like i um, was able to handle any situation that might come my way mm -hmm. although at the time i really didn't um do any type of education or training or yeah. you know to get myself comfortable using right. the firearm right right yeah. well and you saw a need to uh basically figure out protection for yourself and that's commendable regardless right so um but here recently you've added to your collection yeah what was that I built an AR pistol. You did, you yes. did, right? So with your help, my help, yes. Yeah. So I did, I did help Jess with her first AR, and we did an Aero Precision M4E1. You guys know I'm a big fan of Aero Precision, and you think what about it? I love you it. You love it, right? Yes. I was actually impressed um, with you initially. Before we built yours, uh, you fired one of my rifles mm -hmm. and uh, we ran through a couple of drills, nothing too intense, but um, it uh, was impressive to see how quickly you pick things up. Uh, and I think that is uh, something that we should commend you on, the fact that we, we talked through a couple of different things and we really kind of jumped into the deep end on doing a uh, failure to stop drill, you know, two to the torso, one to the head, uh, which is what you're going to find in a lot of defensive rifle courses. Uh, and I just wanted to see kind of how you would re react to that, and you did very, very well. Um, so uh, that, that was pretty, uh, pretty awesome to see, to see that. So Thanks. kudos. That, that's big. That's really big. Uh, it took a long time for me to get to that point. Um, so why an AR? Why do, why do you think that uh, an AR was needed for you? You had the pistol already, but 
what was right. what was the kind of thing that you wanted to move to an AR? Well, I you know so in the last few years I have worked with my pistol more and gotten pretty comfortable with it, but I just never really felt like it was um, my firearm of choice. Mm -hmm. The the particular you know model that I have is pretty heavy, right? And um, I kind of wanted to explore other options, and I had shot an AR before right. um, and had enjoyed it and it just was um, something that I thought I wanted to dive into. Mm -hmm. And one of the interesting things today is uh, your daughter shot for the first mm -hmm. time. I thought that was really, really cool and yeah. she did a great job. Um, one of the interesting things that she picked up the very first time that she shot this rifle was the fact that it was a lot easier to shoot mm -hmm. the rifle. Um, basically, there's three points of contact versus two with a pistol, so um, that was great to see her pick that up right right from the beginning. Do you think that, that is maybe something that helped with your decision as well, or is that not even a consideration? Um, I don't know that that was so much of a consideration. I don't know that I understood that comparison okay. when I made the decision mm -hmm. to build the AR, but mm -hmm. now I can tell the difference, okay. you know, that I'm much more comfortable um, handling the AR mm -hmm. than my pistol. Okay. Yeah. And once you, uh, once we had the AR put together, mm -hmm. well, let me back up actually. Uh, when we were um, messing around with one of my ARs before we went to the range a couple of weeks ago, uh, how comfortable were you around, around the rifle? Or I guess the AR pistol? Not very comfortable. I mean, I had I had shot one before, but mm -hmm. like I didn't really understand the mechanics of how it worked mm -hmm. or um, how to safely operate it. Right. right. And so I was pretty uncomfortable. Right. So we walked through unloading and unloading loading and unloading procedures. Mm -hmm. um, we did that what 10, 15, 20 times, yeah. something like that. And now you're, I, I would say you're a pro at it. The range today seeing you just slap magazines, rack slides, yeah. pull charging handles, you're a lot more comfortable, I would say. Yeah, I'm definitely yeah. much more comfortable. Yeah, right, okay. So, um, how much difference has the pistol been to shooting the pistol than to the AR? That's a good question. So, I mean, it's obviously a completely different it is. feel. It's a completely different um, stance and you know, everything about it is, is different. I'm much more comfortable shooting the AR mm -hmm. because of being able to kind of be in more of an athletic stance yeah. and kind of like settle down in yeah. um, versus, you know, the pistol. I am typically more upright and rigid, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. um, and that might just be how I do it and, you know, could learn better ways to be more comfortable with the pistol too but yeah. I just like the um I feel like I have a lot of control mm -hmm. with the AR yeah and I really enjoy that feeling. yeah do you think that you'll be a lot more uh prepared to defend your home defend your 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 family uh with with this compared to your pistol I do you do yeah right. yep what, what else would you like to say for anyone say that is contemplating getting an AR or anything like that, kind of the floor's yours. Yeah, well, so what I think is important is just um, asking questions. If you don't know, if you're uncomfortable with a style of firearms um, or if you're super new like I am, just ask questions and um, learn as much as you can. Um, I think that getting your hands on a, a variety of different styles and um, you know, the feeling, the the differences in your hand, mm -hmm. the weights and just mm -hmm. like angles of, um, you know, the, the pistol grip or mm -hmm. whatever. Yep. Um, those are things that you don't know the difference between if you've never, you know, um, tested them out. Right. And it's just kind of like what we've talked about with bikes. You mm -hmm. know, there's a lot of different components that you can change out and you're not gonna know the difference between how one component feels compared to another unless you have really gotten in there and been able to test them out. Right. And um, and so then you don't know the benefits 
you know, for you or what, what is kind of the right fit for yourself right. until you get in there and kind of feel it out. So that would be my biggest piece of advice is just, um, try things, you know, mm -hmm. and ask questions and, um, get as much training as you can. And I think too, that, um, one of the biggest assets I think for me right now, as far as, um, gaining the comfort level that I have, um, this early, into my firearm ownership or my AR ownership is just um, not just target practice. You know, we haven't just stood there and and tried to hit the middle of the target. I mean, we've worked through some other drills mm -hmm. that are um, important and and help to get comfortable with handling right. the firearm. And as I mentioned earlier, like being able to safely operate it. Yeah, absolutely. Because that takes a, a lot of the the fear and apprehension out of, mm -hmm. you know, out of using it. Yeah. So the uh, the the drills that we've talked about that Jess was talking about is basically just dry fire. Uh, simple things too, just getting used to loading and unloading the firearm. Um, you know, doing ready up drills. You know, uh, reload drills. Kind of a one reload one type of drill and just do dry fire stuff. So, and I think that uh, just in the last couple of weeks have you been able to do that? Like you mentioned, a lot more comfort behind it. Yeah. So anything else that you wanna, you wanna say before, before we get out of here? Um, you know, I think I would just mention that it's really interesting as a woman, like coming into a new community, mm -hmm. uh, the community of, you know, firearms, like it's male dominated, you know, yep. much like cycling is. Sure. And um, it is very empowering to be able to feel comfortable mm -hmm. and know that I can protect my family yep. during the zombie apocalypse. There we go. Or whatnot. Yep. And, um, and knowing also that I can keep my family safe yep. from the firearms that I also, that I choose to have in yep. my home. Yeah. You know, so Mark, I'd like to mention one more thing. Sure. If you don't mind. So Absolutely. Just thinking through, um, you know, really what I think is important just at this early stage uh, of, you know, learning how to use an AR safely and um, comfortably, I think getting in there and getting your hands on it, practicing, um, thinking through, like, you know, if I'm going to store the firearm in a safe mm -hmm. where's my ammo going to be is it going to be you know also in the safe with it or what are the steps that i need to go through mm -hmm. to get my firearm ready to be used in my home and then even practicing through that yes. wake up in the middle of the night to pee grab your firearm go to the spot where you think is going to give you the best advantage like working through that the same way you would work through uh, a fire drill yes. you know or um you know, maybe not just having the the machine in your home, but mm -hmm. like actually working through that. I think that adds to the comfort level yep. and um, ultimately will add to uh, skill level. As yeah, well. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Walking through your plan for um, protecting your home is, is vital. Just like you said, walking through a, uh, a fire drill or yeah tornado drill you know <laughs> yeah. uh making sure that you know what you're going to be able to do and have to do uh is important but also you're going to be juggling a couple of different things you're not only going to be uh leading the you know the drill you're also going to be watching over your kids and you're going to be defending them at the same time so there's yeah. a lot of things that's going on and oh by the way the individual who's in your house that shouldn't be they get a say in it as well, right? So learning how to juggle all of those components is very vital. So that's a great point. That's a really great point to do those walkthroughs. So, okay, awesome. Well, congratulations. Thank you. You've been awesome with your AR so far. Um, well, obviously we're gonna be shooting a lot uh, in the future and we're gonna work on getting you some training as well. So yep. um, there you have it, guys. Uh, this is Jess. She is a brand new owner of an AR-15 and she 
loves it. Love it. Love it. So um, I'd ask you guys to share this video with any of your friends who may be thinking about purchasing an AR. Um, you know, obviously right now with everything going on, it's going to be a little bit more challenging. It might be a little bit more expensive to get into it right now. But if uh, they are considering it and they are worried about their protection, you know, this is a great option, right? It's not the only option, but it is a great option. Uh, out there. So I'd encourage you guys to share this video with anyone, regardless if it's female or male, who may be looking to do something like this as well. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you so much for yeah. your time. Thanks for having me. Well, thank you for uh, the opportunity just to, just to talk. Um, uh, there's, there's always avenues for us to learn. And just me talking day in or week in, week out kind of gets a little monotonous. So hearing different perspectives is really educational. So um, again, share this with your friends and we're going to get, get out of here. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, complaints, manifestos, anything whatsoever, comment down below. I'd love to hear it. And if you have questions for Jess, make sure you put that down in the comments below. Uh, we'll get her to answer them for you. All right. Okay. We'll take care. We'll see you guys next time. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Ready y'all? Bye. What am I supposed to be looking at that? The lens. The lens. Yep. Can you do this? You can smile, you can not smile. I'm not sure what to do with my face. I don't have to do with my hands. <laughs> it is a little humid. Yeah, it is. Uh, okay. There we go. We made it through today. We can make it through today. There we go.